Okay, hi, Jonathan here. Uh, in this video, I want to explain to you how to use Hyros. Uh, number one, what is, what is it? How does it help in your media buying? As well as how to set it up and then how to track uh, the actual data coming through. Okay, so Hyros. Hyros is basically just uh, an application. It's a tracking application which helps, uh, especially when you're running, for example, Facebook, Google ads, paid advertising, right? You're spending tons of money. And then you need to track whether that conversion is actually producing actual sales. Okay, and so uh, this works well, for example, uh, with phone call funnels. So people uh, have a book a call funnel, right? And then you, uh, if you book a call funnel and then someone uh, comes onto the sales call with the customer, for example, and then you talk to the customer and then da da da, and then afterwards, then they are able to uh, say, hey, did this guy close? And then that conversion data, right? That purchase data, for example, the guy bought a $500 uh, product from us, right? That $500 is uh, attributed and credited to the account and that data is being fed back into Ads Manager. And so Facebook, and Google, uh, predominantly, they are very, very bad at doing this because uh, they have no interest whatsoever in doing this top platform. And that's why Hyros, this platform, allows you to track attribution and uh, add data to the exact purchase itself. Okay, so it's uh, created by Alex Becker, the very big internet marketer. And then uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to set it up. Okay, so I'm assuming, a uh, big assumption right here, that you already, ha already have an account. Okay, so once you get your account, for example, let me just show you how to set it up. Okay, you need to go into your account. Okay, and what you want to do is go to the top right, for example. You want to go to settings first. Okay, uh, and then in settings, there's something called the API key. Okay, so in the API key, uh, this one is blurred out. You can't see it. But basically, you need to first copy the API key, for example. Okay, and then afterwards, you need to head on over to Google. Okay, go to Google, search for something called uh, this document. You probably need to find this document first. It's called setting up and using the Hyros Chrome extension. Okay, and so you can see here under the written guide. Okay, you see step number one. You see, you press this button right here. Okay, you press here, right? You will be you head over to this app, uh, this page right here. So this page is basically the Hyros Chrome extension, which you need to install for you to be able to see Hyros in your Ads Manager. Okay, so you come in here, you just uh, install the application. Okay, once you've installed it, for example, right, uh, you can come into Ads Manager. Okay, so I've already installed uh, the Hyros application, and for example, I'm going to show you the data on this account, for example, right? And what you want to do is when you press this, right, so you activate Hyros, okay? At first, right, you see, you need to insert your API key. Okay, you do need to insert your API key. Okay, in this case, this account here, I've already synced my API key, but what you wanna do is obviously take the API key from that previous page just now, and you uh, paste it in here, and then you just en enter. Okay, then afterwards, you will see uh, this configuration come up, okay? So this configuration is, you are telling Hyros what exactly do you want to track. Okay, so in this case here, I'm, uh, Hyros is already turned on, but let me just show you. Okay, so for configuration, I normally just select, select uh, scientific, and then the rest, I just use default settings, nothing special. Okay, and the reason why is because like, um, if it's default, it's probably just, it's good. You know, you don't really have to touch it that much. Okay, uh, I don't like using last click because last click is not really uh, accurate per se. I'd rather use scientific. Okay, then what you want to go over here, you can see at the top left-hand side, you press configure columns, and then you just select the configuration that you want. So for example, this, this ad account here, right? This is a big ad account spending a lot of money. Um, they are uh, doing e-commerce. So e-commerce, uh, you will generally want to have uh, revenue. You can see, I mean, you can see my one. You have sales, cost per sale, which basically means cost of acquisition, right? Revenue and then profit, okay? If you're running a book a call funnel, so you're doing high ticket book a call phone funnels, right? Then you probably want to select calls, cost per call, uh, cost per lead um, and revenue and probably profit as well. And ROI maybe, okay? So these, these are the specific things that you want to be tracking because uh, everything else honestly does not matter, okay? So once you selected that, you will go back and then you press enable high row stats. In this case here, my account is already enabled, so you don't have to do anything. Let me just show you, okay? So after you've configured your Chrome extension, right? After you install the Chrome extension and uh, put in your API key, right? You need to go into the advertising account that has high rows installed in, okay? So... Uh, here you don't see the columns, okay? But let me just go into the ad set level to show you how this will play out, okay? So imagine if I go to the ad set level, okay? And then I will let Hyros basically uh, pull the data from their servers, okay? So you can see here uh, very clearly, right? That there are a bunch of numbers trying to populate right here, okay? So what I wanna do, because I've selected more columns, right? I want to come in here and I want to pull this column, hopefully it allows me to pull this column. For some reason it's lagging, okay? I want to pull this column to the right and so that I can see and track the numbers uh, very, very accurately, for example, okay? So now you can see here, it's just populating. Uh, Hyros is probably just a bit slow at this point, right? 
Uh, but what it means uh, for you as the media buyer, for example, is that I'm able to see for every single ad set, right? For every single ad set, what is the sales, the cost per sale, the revenue, the profit, etc., etc. And so you can see here, right? Uh, let me show you something, okay? So imagine uh, Facebook. Facebook is telling me I'm, I'm getting seven purchases on this ad set right here, right? But Hyros is telling me there are three sales, okay? So, so who is correct right here, like Facebook or Hyros, okay? A lot of the times it's just, um, at this point in time, like don't really trust Facebook that much. So I, I would just say, okay, uh, let's just trust Hyros, right? You can see here that 11 purchases who came in, right? However, Hyros is telling me there are 22 purchases. Okay, so you, you can see like in terms of data per se, right? Uh, I'm using the scientific method, right? So last, last click attribution uh, may have something different. Uh, you might want to see for yourself on your own account. Okay, every account is different, so I can't really say for you, right? And so, for example, you can see here, okay, these, these three ad sets right here, right? ad set one, ad set two, ad set three, okay? Uh, you, you might be saying, okay, yo, John, why are you spending money when you are basically losing money right here? Like this uh, profit is negative 11, negative 280, negative 70, right? Why are you still spending money? Okay, so the reason why is because I'm still in the testing phase for these ad sets. So I, I cannot uh, definitively say that um, they, they are, they are, they're not performing. Make sense? Okay, I cannot definitively say that. Okay, so however, these ones, they are, they are all running, right? And they're all making profit, right? And so this is very, very useful purely because especially you think about it, uh, for example, like physical product or even digital product, right? When you are running ads, you, are, you have top line revenue growth, right? Imagine you make $1,000, you spend $300 on ads, right? You cannot calculate in your mind or very quickly how much the actual revenue uh, profit is. And so this, this is very, very useful purely because, hey, I can make decisions based on profit now. I can make decisions on whether this ad set, whether the audience from this ad set is actually performing how I want it to perform. Okay, not, not based on um, estimates or whatsoever. Okay, so let me show you, I guess, like how else you can use it, for example. Okay, so let me scroll down a bit. Hopefully the data is populating faster. I think it's just my internet connection. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so basically you can see here how, how an example of this is that uh, you can see, right? Okay, by the way, this campaign is totally off, right? This campaign right here, um, even though that you can see that the campaign is totally off right now, but this has been producing profit. Right, so this is, I guess, the, the benefit of using high rules where it's like the, the campaign is previously not profitable, right? But then after the true tracking attribution and data com comes in, we see that actually, hey, this ad set is profitable, okay? And so that we are seeing that uh, I, we shouldn't have turned off this ad set, for example, right? We should have let it play out a lot, a lot more, right? So this is what uh, I, mean, I mean by uh, tracking attribution wise, right? Facebook is telling us that there's one purchases that come in, but in reality, the actual sales that actually ca has came in is basically four purchases who have come in. Right, at $88 cost per purchase. Okay, so the profit is, is massive, but uh, this campaign is turned off. Okay, so this is why um, a lot of people are using Hyros nowadays. And uh, yeah, okay, I would think that if you are spending tons of money, right, this is something that's useful for you, especially if you're selling high ticket, because um, there's a lot of data that's being attributed wrongly. And the worst thing that you can do, especially when you're running tons of traffic, is that you have wrong data attribution, and then you make decisions wrongly, and then you cut ad sets for no reason, especially when you're actually making money, but you think you're not making money, right? And that just totally messes up your entire flow, okay? Uh, just another thing, right, just to let you know, like, I know that, um, uh, what's it called? Kairos is just a tool, right? So you, you must think about it from your situation, your situation as well. You do need to become a good marketer. You do need to know how to sell. You need to know how to craft good offers before you even think about tools like this. Because this, this tool, right, is just an additional layer on top of whatever you're doing, okay? So keep in mind, if you do not even have a good offer, good good whatever, good landing page, good copy, like everything else, right? This does not matter. This will not give you the magic potion and stuff. Okay, you do need to have already sales, um, you know, consistent sales and you're trying to scale up and then this could potentially help you save a ton of money as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, yep, and, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.